Hello, it is me again. I know I'm supposed to upload gaming videos, but for the past few videos, I did record one gaming video, but for the past video, then this channel has been just reviews. So, why don't we start with another review with the D&D. With the D&D, or Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, the fat dragon in that movie. I do not know how to pronounce this thing's name, other than, I don't know. But this, if you don't know, is from a line of toys that basically are like the, are like the dodecahedron dice. Like the dice you use in D&D. &D. But inside of them are dragons. Imagine it like Bakugan, but more complicated and less magnets. So... How do you do this? Well, I am going to show you how you do this. So first, what you want to do is the first thing you want to do when un when opening this thing or trying to put it into dragon mode, you you give me a second. You open the wings, and as you can see, the tough part about this is just. It's just figuring out how to open the wings because I'm not gonna lie, but the good news is that with everything comes a flail. Because in everything it comes with an instruction manual. Manual. And this instruction manual is gonna be the thing that helps you determine what the fuck you're doing. Open this. We get this. Now, as you can see, you can simply follow the instructions that we have right here. Here. No, I think my copy's arms might be very broken because it seems like the arms have been put on the wrong way. And the hands have been put on the wrong body. Because you'll see later when we get back to this. So here here's a step my step. Because here's a step by step thing if you want to. And here is the body and there you go. If you just want is to have so you have a copy of your own and you're just trying to figure out what to open you so must stumble upon this video first i guess uh, congratulations i guess back to this thing now we follow the instructions we open their wings or should we say unravel the body so i'm going to unravel the body And there you have it, the full transformation from dice into a red dragon. Now, did you notice when I said, notice how my ha how my copy's hands are different? Let's go back here. And if we look at, no, no, if we look at this one's hands, you can see that it appears that they are on the wrong part of the body and the hands have also been swapped. So I'm assuming either this is just a cruel joke. I'm not going to try to rotate them because one, because one, there's a, there's a good chance that they probably rotated the hands on this mall because either... They just fared better on the opposite parts of the body. In fact, give me a second. So, yeah, well, sorry, but I accidentally went trying to re to fix this thing's hands. 
accidentally clicked off record of the video, so that's gonna go into Viva Anime, and it will take a while to merge the two recordings. But this is how the hand should look. The the arm, this the left, the right arm, is very much more well um floppy. So I might just so I might just uh put the hands back in place because because I'm planning on actually using this in anime in like some like little video soon but but like so so this is what it looks like and out of all I give this a 10 out of 10 like even if the arm placement was shit I mean at least it was at least it was way more poseable when it was like that to when it was to how it is supposed to be correctly because if I because on both of the sides they are completely this one's floppy this one is just stiff enough so it doesn't so it doesn't rotate but it like you don't have to keep it this high if you want it to stay in place which I don't want to do that so I'll be simply when I'm done with this video I'm gonna be simply like putting it back how it was when I got it out the box. So if anything I will see you guys in the next video. Shovel out. See you next time. Um the third segment of the or the final segment in fact because one I did form it back into a dice and I can, in fact, determine that in with the hands being in the right position changes everything because the dice transformation is way more easier, but still the hand not being able to stay in place, I will probably, when recording the video, well, most likely when using this in a recording of a video in the future, most likely just, we'll just, we'll just break the hands again and then just, when I'm done using it, just put it back together in the correct position so just want to say if you see this thing in the future probably you'll see this thing in the future with alongside that thing i in fact got that when i saw the movie because yes i did see the movie in fact i really like dungeons and dragons just not as much as i used to until now but i got that with like the the combo bow meal where it's basically like, it's a popcorn or drink, and with the attachment to drink includes this. So, just letting you guys know that. Just letting you guys know that. So, yeah, shovel out this time for real. Uh, goodbye.